Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a brand new dev channel build for the Insider program this week, build 23516, which was made available on the 2nd of August. So just a quick look and a quick run through and just summarizing what's new in this latest build 23516, as some of these features could possibly be rolling out in up and coming stable versions. Now, the first is we get improved screencasting. And this is a small yet, I think, a significant update if you do use screencasting on a regular basis, where Microsoft does say that with build 23516, it now adds new toast notifications uh, for screencasting when, as Microsoft says, doing multitasking activities such as switching between Windows or using Snap Assist, quick settings, additions for installation of the optional wireless display feature, and there's better discoverability to other PCs. So improved screencasting now available in build 23516. Moving on to the next. And this is to do with voice access, which is now available to use on more areas in Windows where Microsoft mentions you can use voice access to log into your PC and access other areas on the lock screen. So yeah, we can see in this little fly out menu in the screenshot, uh, you can turn on voice access from the accessibility fly out on lock screen or have it on automatically every time by checking the setting to start voice access before you sign into your PC is on via settings, accessibility and speech. And then just something else quickly to mention with voice access, Microsoft says there is a new setting uh, to start voice access before uh, you sign into your PC as well. So a couple of voice ac access improvements now where uh, you can use it now on more areas in Windows. Then the next uh, new f uh, kind of feature is Microsoft is improving on present sense in which they are giving a bit of attention in the Insider program. And Microsoft says for PCs with presence sensors that support attention detection, they are now introducing adaptive dimming, which means now your device can intelligently dim your screen when you look away and undim when you look back. And they say you'll find these settings under settings, privacy and security, present sensing, but take note, if your device supports it. So if your device does not support present sensing, as I've mentioned previously, um, it will not be available. And present sensing now is also available on the OOB experience. And that's the out of box experience when you are setting up a new device with Windows 11. So you can um, set up your, your device now when choosing your privacy settings for your device. So there we go. You can turn on present sensing on those privacy settings in the OOBE setup process. And then moving on to the next, this is a small yet a, a significant improvement if you are using Microsoft Teams regularly, where Teams free now is pre-pinned, Microsoft says, to the taskbar in Windows 11. And over and above that, Windows insiders who click the launch Teams will discover a mini communications experience, making it possible to chat, call, and meet with people within just a click or two. And Microsoft says it's compact size, makes it easy to place the window anywhere on the desktop. So there's a couple of improvements rolling out there for a Microsoft Teams free. And then just to do a one or two quick mentions, and this next one is quite an important improvement that's rolling out. You now get HDR background support. So a Microsoft says you can now set JXR files to be your desktop background if you have an HDR display. They will render in full HDR. So this is a new improvement that is rolling out HDR background support. Now, just take note of a couple of things. Microsoft says first, make sure your device has an HDR display or is connected to a HDR display that supports HDR, obviously because obviously then um, this feature will not be supported. You can check this by going to settings, system display and checking the HDR toggle. And over and above that, Microsoft says, if you have multiple displays attached to your device, the background will show as HDR or, S or SDR, depending on each display's capabilities. So that's quite an important one. HDR background support now rolling out for the first time in build 23516. And then the last quick mention regarding uh, new improvements, Microsoft says they are introducing new natural voices in French, Portuguese, English, India, German and Korea. So there's a couple of new natural voices now that are also rolling out. And if we just head back to the release notes, as always, we get a whole bunch of fixes uh, that Microsoft has rolled out for build 23516. And over and above those fixes, we get the usual known issues because obviously uh, it is still early days. So there would be a couple of known issues that Microsoft will have to patch 
um, before things get a little bit stable and those features do roll out possibly to up and coming stable versions. So that's just a brief overview as to what's new uh, in this latest Dev Channel build for this week, build 23516. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.